Welcome to Reflector Hub TV. Get set for an encounter through God's Word with God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. Hallelujah. The Bible says, do not be conformed. What does that mean? That means that there is pressure. Attempting to bring your mindset. Listen, a mindset talks of some total of your ideologies. A sum total of your philosophies, your value system, what makes up your belief system, what informs your convictions about God, about men, about life. And can I tell you something? We come from different backgrounds and as diverse as our backgrounds are, so are our mindsets. We have packed every kind of thing from different systems, different experiences. And when we all come into the kingdom, the Bible says we have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation. What happens? You come as you are, but you don't remain as you are. Are you listening to me? The problem with the body of Christ is we want to come as we are and remain as we are. No, no. You come as you are and then the Holy Spirit engages you in the ministry of transformation. Hallelujah. Your work with the Spirit should bring a predictable result. I should be able to look at you after a season of walking with the word and with the spirit. You should look like something. And that portrait is the one we call Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5. He said, let this mind, the word let there is permit. Permit this mindset. Jesus walked upon the earth. He had a mindset. Are you listening to me jesus had a mindset he had he, he had a way he behaved the way he responded to people they believed that um there would not be fish he spoke as one with authority they caught uh, a prostitute and brought to him and he responded he seemed to operate uh with a value system that was not known to the then jewish nation and they were very surprised what kind of mind is this how do you think? What is your thinking pattern like? Can I tell you something? Every successful man in life has a mindset. Whether in the secular or in the kingdom. And a healthy mindset is not part of the gift of the spirit. Are you listening to me? Oh no. The Bible says, get wisdom. Buy the truth. It puts a pie strap there. Hallelujah. You cannot receive a kingdom mindset as an impartation. No, why? Because there are already forces in your mind. The Bible calls them strongholds. The weapons of our warfare, the Bible says, are not carnal, but mighty through God. Hallelujah. What do those weapons do? To the pulling down of strongholds. They exist in the realm of the mind. He said, casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ and bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ. You are not just a kingdom citizen because you bear a Christian name. Even if your name is kingdom, it doesn't make you a kingdom citizen. Hallelujah. There is a mindset. And can I tell you something? Dr. Mike Murdoch said something and I respect so much. He said the world has embraced the person of Jesus Christ, but we have rejected his principles. I mean the church. While the world has rejected the person of Jesus Christ, but they have embraced his principles. How true. Hallelujah. So there is not just, it's not just enough for us to pray. We've had 21 days prayer and fasting. You can never rise above the level of your mindset. Are you listening to me? You can never know. I will show you from scripture that the mindset of a man can limit God in his life. God began to walk with the nation of Israel and he showed them mighty things in Egypt. Hallelujah. The ten plagues and he parted the Red Sea. He did a lot of things to prove to them that he was Lord. But they had a mindset. Do you realize that they had been in Egypt for 430 years? 
listen 430 years is enough for you to adopt a mindset because you were born there are you listening to me now when the lord called them that's why he had to separate them from egypt when god calls a man he takes you out of the environment that created that wrong mindset and then he walks on you then he sends you back as a deliverer that's what he did to moses moses was born with a mindset he took moses out to the back side of the mountain for 40 years let me announce to you that god is not in a hurry he can wait are you listening to me for 40 years he wanted to use moses but the mindset of moses kept limiting god until he walked on moses in a way and a manner that his mind could now release god and then he said all right let's walk together the exact same thing happened to abraham god had a blessing for abraham in his spirit and he wanted to communicate it but the mindset of abraham would not allow the lord to bless him and one day the lord said how do i open this guy's mindset he said abraham come out look at the stars he said count them and abraham began to count and he could not count he said now this is how i will bless you finally abraham believed god and it was counted unto him his righteousness you have grown up with a mindset and you live in a world that says well whatever whatever will be will be whatever will be will be if i die today i die if i'm sick today i'm sick whatever will be whatever life gives me then you begin to study in god's word and it says that this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth he said thou thou should be careful that you observe it he said then shall thy ways be prosperous and thou shalt have good success and then Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 says, It shall come to pass in that day, if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, to do and observe all that I commanded this day. He said that I will set you on high, and all these blessings shall come upon you and shall overtake you. There are two kingdoms fighting. The mindset that you got from your village, living with your grandmother living with all kinds of things whenever the lord begins to speak of blessings you are not ready for those things because of a mindset do you realize how that satan has crippled the church the body of christ the nation of nigeria by giving us a mindset that came from the african culture are you listening to me there is a mindset that the african culture gave us is a mindset of servitude we inherited it when when the colonial masters came after they finished with nigeria they left Because the moment a student enters school, the next thing he's thinking of, he do, he's not thinking of productivity, he's not thinking of creativity, he's thinking of what? Servanthood. Let me just get somebody and let me be a secretary. It's a mindset. They limited God in the wilderness by saying, Can God? And the Bible said that statement provoked God, and God was angry. How dare you limit me? Father, we thank you. Thank you tonight for challenging us we refuse to conform to the thinking pattern of the world we refuse to let the things we watch the things we read about the things we see and hear 
distract us from the reality of your word lord we make commitments tonight that your word becomes final authority in our lives that in life and death we live by your word manifesting the fruits of faith and of the operation of the spirit lord we know that your word will not fail there is a joy that is coming and our families our nation our departments our faculties our workplaces will celebrate your hand in our lives hallelujah we give you praise in the name of jesus christ god bless you so much we believe you've been mightily blessed also forget to subscribe on reflector hub tv and also click on the notification bell to always stay in touch with all our recent posting thank you god bless you